Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you five signs that you're dating a toxic person. So are you dating a toxic person? We're going to find out right now. And if this is your first time to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of the video in order to get more videos on how to have the relationship you've always wanted. So let's get started. Um, so are you dating a toxic person? Uh, I'm going to give you five signs to figure out if this is a toxic relationship, a toxic person that you're with that maybe you might want to get out of. Sign number one is that he's always playing the victim and there's always drama everywhere he goes. And you can tell this usually, like if he talks about some of his previous relationships or if he talks about his family or if he talks about some of the situations he's in and he's always kind of the victim. He's always being mistreated. He's always, um, he's always the, the uh, uh, getting hurt or something and, and it's just this big whiny cry fest. That's a good sign that uh, he's a toxic person. Sign number two is that uh, normally you feel great about yourself. Normally, while you're single or maybe you've been in other relationships, you felt great, but all of a sudden it's like you got into a relationship with him and it's like you find yourself feeling crazy and, and uh, uh, maybe emotionally psychotic all the time. Here's the question you should ask yourself. Did you feel like a better person before you met him? If the answer is yes, you're probably dating a toxic person. Sign number three is that he uses verbal abuse by uh, joking with you. And so typically the way that you'll see this is that he'll, he'll, just, he'll just feel like he's just joking or he'll say he's just joking so that he can get away with uh, putting you down or making you feel bad or um, uh, treating you like crap um, so that he can feel better about himself or get some kind of high or dopamine spike that he gets from, from treating people badly. Sign number four is that he gets so jealous and it's not, you know, getting jealous is, is a, um, uh, I think it's a natural and normal thing to feel, but if you get jealous and start behaving through that jealous, especially to the point of like trying to control or manipulate somebody, trying to, you know, constantly, we, we constantly have to be in touch with each other. I constantly have to talk to you. I constantly want to know what you're doing and who you're with. And you, you know, I need you to text me every, you know, moment of your day. That's a good sign that that person is actually just toxic. So sign number five is the overly nice guy. And, and, you know, sometimes these guys aren't super toxic. It's usually more like they're just really needy and um, they, they aren't very confident in themselves and um, they don't really know what to do. And um, usually you'll see them be really nice and then not get a reaction that they want. And then they'll turn into this bipolar guy where they're angry all of a sudden because they were really nice and they didn't get what they want. Um, and so, you know, if you're, you're with a guy who kind of defines himself through his relationship and um, uh, thinks that uh, you owe him something because of how nice of a guy he is, that's a good sign that um, he's probably not the right guy for you. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.